Welcome to Arch Merged XFCE. We've uh, been tuning it uh, quite extensively already and we're going to talk about installing and uninstalling software. To do that, we have this little button down here, which is PAMAC. You should remember the name. And PAMAC gives you an overview of all the things we've installed. So first off, first off, when you go and you've uh, followed my tutorials, you have here an AMD XFCE. If you don't want to install applications like, let's go and have an example. If you don't want to install applications, what you do, you make sure you don't, you delete the line, but I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest you put a hashtag in front of it and that's enough. And next time maybe you can reconsider and say, oh no, it broke my system or something has gone wrong. And then just you do uh, admit it again, delete it again, save it again. And there you go, it's uh, back in. Another thing that's quite interesting, and I've told it in another tutorial, that's if we are a month ahead, we are now 2018, so we're now November 2017, and you're working on your system and you're wondering, has Eric changed anything to this? Well, the best way to do it is just open a terminal here and remember the words git pull, pull everything from the internet. And if nothing has changed, I'll just say already up to date. So you know I did not change anything to the system, to the scripts, I mean then. So we're talking about software. <clears throat> well, you, the first thing is the scripts. You installed it, you decided to install some things. But here you can decide to, un to remove it again. So if you want to apply it again, like this, right mouse click as well, deselect details, and you can say apply this. And as a player is going to be gone. Voila, we've uninstalled it. So that's one thing to go as well. Let's change the wallpaper. Alt T for trash, Alt T for trash. And let's end up with something we do like. Whatever, it's a wallpaper. <laughs> so these are possibilities. This is what's installed, it's all green. Then you can go into categories and say audio video. What else is there on Linux? There is other five. There is music. This is to burn things. This is Clementine. It's installed. Dead beef. I want to install dead beef. Apply. Commit. And installed. That's it. So it's that easy. It's gonna be with multimedia. It's gonna be dead beef. There it is. You've installed dead beef. Try it out. We'll see if you like it. And then you can get rid of Clementine and install dead beef instead. So it's a lot of things that you can, hours and hours of entertainment and games. Yes, boys and girls, there is there are some games in there. And the size is up to Super Tux card. That's the biggest one out there, Mega Glast, and then it goes down. Never Ball, also a nice one. Super Tux, very known. You should play it at least once, one of those Tux things. So fine graphics you can go ahead and do some 3d modeling well known in the movie world and you go on and check it out so that's one thing to do there are some groups you could check out if you are interested in Cody things they're all here the Cody things if you can want to do something with GT5 and then I'll give C4 so we've installed all of these so the complete group is here if you don't like the complete group, I mean, if you don't want this one or that one, you can just uninstall it again. But that's just a file that's going to be uninstalled. Doesn't hurt you a bit. Doesn't make your computer slower if you install a lot of software. It's what in your memory that counts. So installed, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So this is a way to install software and uninstall software. So if you type software, and that's why one of the things I like it as well, Arch Merged, XFCE, this whisker menu, that's the name, this whisker menu, you just type ahead and say, I want to know something about printing. What is, what can help me? Yeah. So I just type software and I see, okay, what do I get? So software update, that's our PAMAC. And there is another tool that, I, that you can install. Oh yeah, we, there are two things I can do. I can install it like this and I go look for software. So there is Steam Soft Support, Flatpak, GNOME Software, that's the one I need. And 
and you scroll down and you find out what things might help you. So GNOME software is the one I want. And this this is something new. I didn't notice earlier on flatback support. So anyway, um, it's either this way or the control alt way to sudo pacman minus s gnome something. And these are all the things that are called gnome. And with an S, it's limited again. And with an O, it's even more shorter. And with an F, we're there. So that's an application you can take a look at. Let's go for the GTK. KDA is for desktop, for plasma. So you need the one number one in this case. And just install GNOME software. It's all about choices. Again, no need to do this if you're happy with your system, if you're happy with the scripts, if you're happy with PAMEC, all good. Um, but now when I type software, I get another thing here. Add, remove software and software. Let's go shopping, he says. Fine, let's get rid of all the rest. And this is GNOME software. It gives us also an overview if you don't know what applications you like. It gives some kind of overview of what's possible. Yeah. What utilities are there. I'm a utility kind of guy, but let's go for something more obvious. Audio video. And you get, get a nice looking catalog. It, it's really nice looking. It, it follows the art theme. Nice icons everywhere. Caffeine multiplayer. What's this? You check it out. You have a website you can follow and then eventually you decide to install it or not. It's the K, often the K points to the KDE desktop or the Plasma desktop. So, well, it, you can install it, it's no problem in installing it, but it uh, will install a lot of dependencies with it. So, just so you know, so KDE, the K here, the K here, the K here, it's all part of, not the Kodi, but it's all part of the KDE or the Plasma thing. Lollipop, let's install Lollipop. We've installed it as well in Arch Merge and now we can launch it. And here you have Lollipop uh, and let's get rid of that. Nice wallpaper, but I'm gonna delete it anyway. That's a nice one, I'm gonna keep this one. So now we have um, Lollipop somewhere running. There is it, she is. And we can set things here, add more uh, radios and add more songs and so on. That's setting up Lollipop. That's another tutorial. So there you are. You can install and uninstall lots of stuff in your system. You have now two options. You have PAMEC and you have GNOME software and have fun. Install.